Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And we have a very special guest with us today, Mr. X. Hello, Mr. hello, hello. X. It's very good to be here. Is Thank it? You. It is. It all is right. good to be here. You know, where else would I, would I want to be on a, on a day like today? <laughs> on a date with a fine lady? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that one, too. <laughs> on a date with a fine lady. There's no fine ladies yeah, in our lives. You're stuck with us. I, I was expecting there to be more, but uh, I'm here, and we, it we is what it we is. We make big promises, Dr. X. We make big promises. Mr. Mr. X. You do. you do, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, Jonas, it's, it's Monday. We we have to talk about the biggest news that's been hitting the, the I don't even know what you're talking about, I don't think. Really? Okay, well, well, we're going to talk about some of the biggest news that's been hitting the airways, been going viral lately. There is a ex uh, military um, high level intelligence officer, a colonel who is who has gone whistleblower. Uh oh, and he says that we have not only encountered non human aircraft. Okay, but we have. A Pro, but the government has procured, as well as all the other governments on this planet, have procured these craft, and a lot of them have access to the remains of some of these non-human entities that pilot these crafts. Aliens. He's saying is that UFOs. They're aliens. He's saying that they're aliens. So, okay. So wait, we're we're so he's saying we we have UFOs. We have access to UFOs. Is he saying we build them? No, he's saying is that they are non-human. Mm -hmm. He's not necessarily saying that they're not of this world. Oh, but he says they're non-human. I'll read you a quick excerpt just from the uh, from a, 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 an article that I read. David, okay, David Gersh, a former intelligence officer, is it on Bartum? Pardon? Or what's that one that Steve Bannon does? I don't, shut up. <laughs> David Kirsch, a former intelligence of, uh, official who led analysis of unexplained anonymous, anonymous phenomenon, UAPs, that's what they call them now, instead of UFOs, within the U.S. Department of Defense Agency, caused headlines around the world with his assertion that the U.S. has been collecting non-human crafts for decades. He claims that this has been happening since 1947. Wow. Which would be Roswell, right? That, that's exactly. what that, that's when this would date back to. So this has prompted the U.S. House of Representatives to announce an investigation into his allegations. Well, we know they'll they'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. he's saying is that uh, even with the because uh, they did like a uh, a presentation a few months back where they were like, yes, we have encountered some uh, some craft, but we can't really say where it's from. They were not being a hundred percent transparent. Wait, you telling me the government doesn't tell me the truth? Sometimes mm, I, I am literally shocked right now. I don't. I'm not even. Sure I don't what know what I'm more shocked about: the aliens or the not telling the truth part. Exactly. So a lot of people are speculating that this is kind of like a. Lately, over the years, they've just been like, "Yeah, aliens exist to a certain extent," but with saying it without saying it. Yeah, like right. they're like, "Yes, these things are real. These these are not doctored images that we have, and non-human entities. Something's happening." Soft, okay. This is a soft launch for them to just be honest with us finally. So every time I hear a story like this, yeah, my, yeah. My, initial, in. my initial thought is always, okay, what are they trying to distract me from actually? Yep. You're not wrong. Because, You're not wrong. Because I'm like, all right, here's some crazy story. What's It's the world financial crisis. Yeah. It's That's like, what they're trying uh, to distract us We're in from. a massive recession. Yeah. Like, we're pretending we're not. I mean, all the banks started <laughs> losing deposits, and all of a sudden, everybody's fine again. Like, nothing happened. Yeah, like, hey, look, market, aliens. The yeah. housing market is correcting. Yeah, like, the, co hmm. the, commercial in, the commercial real estate market is on fire because no one's working from an office anymore. Yep. Okay. And they're all like aliens, guys. Remember those? Oh, like, hey, what? look over here. That's very true. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. So, so <laughs> while that is also true, there's also been another viral video that's been going, but this one is a lot more like kind of like classic. Like, okay, so everybody saw it, but there's no pictures. Being is there the up. cops in the the cops in the uh, the the nine one one call? Is it that it one? Was a, yeah, it was. A, it happened in Las Vegas. Yeah, where, I saw that. Where, dude. where a guy actually. Uh, 
he thought he saw aliens in his backyard. He said that something fell from the sky and you could, there's pictures from like ring cameras. You can see something fall. You can hear the sound of it hitting the ground. But then he's like, yeah, I took pictures of it in my backyard, but the cops, the, the body cam from the cops, they turned off their body cams. Well, and there was no like photos and the There's cop no was like, my partner saw something fall too. That's the only reason I'm investigating it. And I'm like, yeah. but everyone has a cell phone and no one like homeboy yeah. called 911, but didn't like p put on his video. Yeah. Um, the look, camera was dead. Look, we're, we're, we live in a world now where there is nothing that's not videoed. I yeah. mean, people just live with those things, hoping mainly just to get their next viral video on TikTok or whatever. Right. Right. But, right. Yeah, for sure. But. There's, I, I, I kind of, I'm like, okay, I don't believe you immediately well, when you say there's no video. People will fight in the street now, and instead of people trying to help, they just record it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, so that's, that is, that's the point of like. We live in a voyeur society that yeah. just wants, would rather watch. Like, oh, yeah, I'll watch this. Oh, oh you're yeah, dying. That sucks. The aliens <laughs> video that would get you millions of dollars, nobody wants to record that. No, one no, now. no. I'll put this phone away. This is too shocking. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie. The people who record fights in the streets, they're doing the Lord's work because that's. Because World Star needs some content. No, because oh. your lawyer is going to need that for evidence. That's true. Okay. Or, yeah. or, or unless, you, unless you're the problem, recording. then you're going to wish it wasn't. <laughs> your lawyer's going to wish it didn't exist. Oh, don't yeah. do, don't fight people then. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's I mean, but also, like, if you let someone get beat to an inch of their life, you're almost kind of responsible for not, like, yeah, there's a good doing Samaritan. anything. There's a good Samaritan law. So, <laughs> but, but let's stay on track. Anyways, you guys don't aliens. believe, you don't believe in aliens, is what you're telling me. I'm not saying that. I don't believe that there's aliens flying around here, like, secretly. Like, what's the point? Like, it's not that hard to, like, if, if they're that intelligent, yeah. it's clear there's nothing we could do to hurt them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 We're not that hard to figure out as I a mean, species. Like, no. Well, I don't like, look, man. If they have any uh, uh, like autonomy that's similar to ours or similar to any other living creature that we've ever encountered, bullets are going to do something to you. That's true. That's true. And 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 people would probably shoot it. And we've got so, plenty of bullets. Self healing. And you shoot bullets through them like Wolverine, and they just—you don't well, know they're aliens, bro. That's, that's a lot of hypotheticals, okay? But I'm, I'm the on same board. instance that they're real and they're flying around is saying that they couldn't be self-regenerating. I mean, is, saying I, something exists versus giving it X-Men powers is a little bit different than a lie. All right, all right. That's a good point. A good point. <laughs> all right, well Doctor, put, Mr. Well X. Put. Yes. Have you ever heard of the Fermi paradox? Yes, I have. Okay, we did an entire episode on the Fermi paradox. We did. So, like, I would be ignorant to think that there's not something out there living other than us. And that technically would be an alien. So, okay. like, yes. Brother, I have gone down the rabbit hole lately. So, there is... Uh-oh. There is... In, this guy's, in this guy's interview, he, he says is that uh, they have been hostile in the past. But, of course, we were probably hostile initi initially because that, what else do we do we see something weird we Poke shoot it with at a it. stick yo i see a bigfoot out there shoot that i need that in my my foyer <laughs> have that thing taxidermy <laughs> so he says is that there is a chance that in the history that it, none of this is first-hand recollection from him it is all things that he has heard from different people in different okay. uh facets of the organization um but he says that there's a chance that they had some COVID. How, how do I say this? Some hand in our actual creation. Oh, so it's like that. It's like Alien. The 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 was it Covenant or which so one, the, which one of so the movies? Scientology was right. Aliens is our what? God. No, but the fact that we could be like giving. Oh, it's kind of like uh, we're a science project, man. We were created and they're we're watching. Their we're their Petri dish. There's yeah. a reason that we exist, all right? Something put us here, whether you think it's God, whether you think it's Lord Zenu, something put us here. And nobody knows the real answer. Nope. You know, you share yeah. your religion, your faith or whatever, but nobody knows the real answer. You're yep. just kind of like putting your faith into it. So how did we get here? Why are we able to speak and talk and and be and be who we are? Were we put here by aliens? Are we just a science project, or are we some benevolent creatures? Pet. Science and science experiment. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean, one of the, either way, we're a science experiment. One of the Fermi paradoxes is that we are essentially a petri dish for the aliens, yeah. and they're just watching us, like see what we do harvesting something and that, from us. that yeah i mean that i guess that would that would explain why they don't talk to us i guess but you got to yeah. think they i mean maybe they don't care that we know they're there they're just yeah. like they're they're ambivalent like do we care that the bacteria know that we're here or don't know we're here we, we probably wouldn't bro we're cattle 
we're cattle. If we're just, yeah. yeah. Well, how do we know what, though? What that the Earth isn't just a little speck in an alien's petri dish, and we think we live in this big, vast world, and we're literally the size of a pea? Exactly. In the aliens' world, can, like, the ant, well, can, can the, an ant realize that the road is being built next to it? No. Well, in 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 the. But if these aliens are flying around in our space, they're yeah. probably the same size as we are. I'm assuming. Uh, the, Unless it's like, like Ant Man powers, but again, we're then we're back to superheroes. The boy from Vegas said that they were eight to ten feet tall. That's, yeah. Really? <laughs> All right, they're big, huh? He said they're big. They got glassy eyes. Yeah. Just like, out. So I don't know, man. Like I, I mean, I think that things other than us exist. Are they big, human-ish, whatever? I have no idea. I don't. I, I'm agnostic about it, really. My mind is open. I'm ready for anything to happen, and I do understand you want to you want to stay uh, stay awake. You want to stay awake you and stay woke. <laughs> yeah, oh you, boy, here it goes. You want to stay woke and realize that the government is lying to you. All right, we can get into that, all right, man. Come on. Are you are if you about to start cheating, sending me videos? You're not be like, Check you're not this one out. Talking about what's oh no, what is that? The uh, oh, I can't think of the goddamn word. It's it reminds me of Destiny. What are the Mercury guys Q-Anon? on Destiny called? The, the guys from Mercury. What were they called? What was their? What was their? Not Mercury. On Destiny, not Mercury. Mars. What were the? What was the bad guy's Mar- name? On Mars on Destiny. Martians. Like. <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna remember it as soon as we end this goddamn video. What is he talking about? I don't know. Okay. Oh, He's in his own Destiny. World, Just let him live there. Dude. Okay. Just, it's a video game. You wouldn't know. Just not oh, that 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 would explain it. Not oh, and agree. Yep. I can't yep. think. Anyways, He's dangerous if he gets frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, shoots, shoots that's people. all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Mr. X. Uh, we're out.